took a trade today on ES, 25th of July, 2024. Um, it was an A plus setup for me, multiple confluences were in play. Um, took my trade at 1019, partials were taken off at 1032, with my full position taken off at 1050. So what made me take this trade? So basically on the daily time frame, um, we can see from this low being put into this high here, price actually retraced towards the 61.8 mark today um, with sell side liquidity taken as well as a daily fair value gap that's nestled here. Down to the one hour, we can see price swept the sell side liquidity and the daily fair value gap, rejecting it, potentially targeting these buy side liquidities here with low resistance liquidity run. Now we can see obviously um, price has already reached its intended target. This is when my trades have already been closed. But on the 15 minute time frame, you can see at 10 o'clock or rather towards after the equities open, New York session, price manipulated here before sweeping up again. Why do I say that I'm confident I'm taking this buy side trade? Because you can see all these highs being put in here and there are plenty of stop losses and buy stops that retail traders place here in which smart money will attempt to rate it all at once. Hence, that's why I say low resistance liquidity run. And also on the one minute chart, we can also see strong rejection of the daily fair value gap as well as that daily sell side liquidity here. Market structure shift, putting in multiple one minute fair value gaps, one and two, creating also a one minute bullish breaker block. So we got a lower high, lower low here, lower low, lower high, lower low, and higher high. So that's when a breaker block is most effective. And ICT refers to this as a unicorn model. So as soon as I saw the market structure shift, chucked in a position here, took off partials here. That's what I normally do when my price, um, when my trade reach a certain um, risk to reward ratio. And I finally took my full position here at the equal highs. I could have held my position um, longer, but I decided that today was enough. Didn't know whether price was actually going to run to all these um, buy side liquidity within my session. So I took the trade off, um, made just over 300 bucks today. Um, yeah, this was a good trade. Catch you guys in the next one.